Afternoon, good evening YouTube, wherever you might be and how are you? You join me <laughs> on a new steed uh, but I'll get on to that in a minute Firstly, apologies for lack of content I've been really busy you know, just doing stuff and life and what have you loads of stuff getting in the way and just not really time to ride and when I have been riding I've been I've been jumping the RC recently because the the RS um, I put some new tyres on it and when I took the rear tyre off the linings fell off of the oh that really pisses me off it's like ice when you ride over that grass the linings fell off of the um, brake shoes so uh, I had to wait for some new brake shoes to arrive so I've got some EBC ones so that do some brake shoes but this is a new acquisition um, and it is a hoot I've got to say it is a half and a half just put over up here But yeah, I will be doing more content, obviously. Uh, let's move up a little bit. Some more RSing about, because that is the, uh, the greatest motorcycle in the world. However, I thought I'd treat myself to something a little bit different. It uh, it might even be a replacement for the Multistrada. The Multistrada could well be up for sale. So this is, if you haven't recognised it by the clocks, this is a Ducati Hyperstrada which is a Hypermotard which those of you that know Ducati know what the Hypermotard is it's like the hooligan bike um, sort of Supermotard version this is a 2015 821cc so it's the low powered one when I say low powered it's still 100, 100, 110 horsepower whatever they are it's still plenty quick enough to have a laugh on I literally pulled off of my driveway, rode about a hundred yards and felt like riding like a complete knob because this is what it makes you want to do. Uh, it's got a standard can on, which I don't mind because um, I might use it for touring. It's got obviously attachments for luggage, the luggage slips on and off. I bought a rack for it. I've been a bit stumpy, I did buy a low seat but it's really quite hard so I'm going to have to have a play with that, maybe put the standard one back on because it's not that bad it's not actually that tall I jumped the gun a bit on that thinking it would be really tall because the Hypermotide is quite a tall bike uh, but the rack will be handy obviously so I can go touring on it but uh, yeah got it off a, a lad up north Paul I went on the Hyperstrada Hypermotard page on Facebook just to see what it was about see if someone fancied doing a deal with a multi and believe it or not, probably the first post I saw was this for sale. So I pinged him a message, we had a quick chat on the phone. He told me all about it, and everything he said was absolutely spot on. There's always that worry about buying a bike from distance, that um, it won't be what it says, but this is absolutely spot on. All the little faults he said uh, were there. He threw in some extras, like the rag guard that the guy previous to him uh, had bought but not fitted. Um, it's got a couple of screens. I'll leave that one on for the time being because it keeps a nice bit of wind off of you. But yeah, it's uh, it's lovely and clean. It's done just under 20,000 miles, 19 and a bit. But you'd never know it. It's been really well looked after. So very pleased. Good price. So a couple of little niggly bits with it. Had a bit of an oil leak, which Paul wasn't aware of because he didn't really ride the bike. Unfortunately, he's, um, he's got a bad back. Haven't we all? A bit like me. So he didn't ride it much and when I came to give it a spin yesterday there was a bit of a puddle of oil underneath it so I cleaned it off and fired it up got it warm and it was the sump plug was leaking so um, drained the oil out of it and whoever the last serviced it didn't put the aluminium crush washer back on on the sump plug uh, I don't think you'll be able to see that if I tuck underneath but it's that one there so luckily living in Ashford I've got Lagunas very close to me so I popped down there first thing this morning got a new crush washer bought some oil and a filter might as well give it a change while I'm there as I had the oil out of it and uh, yeah Bob's your uncle seems to be working really well now so it is, it is fun 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 
brakes are good. Whee! Brakes are really good. Just got the ABS to cut in there. But it does turn into a bit of a twat. This is the complete opposite to um, CB250 RS, where you uh, you just cruise along and you enjoy the world. This makes you want to stick a foot out and slide it around bends. And do you know what? I reckon this thing would slide. I've already had my toe down on the first roundabout I got to, and that was even uh, that wasn't even really giving it some stick. So they do have ground clearance issues, I would suggest, because I've already had that with fairly cold tyres. But it does ride nice. Yeah, out the way! Coming through! But what a hoop this bike is, I've got to say. I've literally done sod all miles on it already. And uh, it just feels comfortable to ride. The sitting position is nice. Wind protection is good with the screen. You can bring it through the gears. A bit of mud, don't care. I've got high bars. It's like a motocross bike. You know, 100 horsepower is plenty for gas and stuff like this around the lanes. I mean, look at it. That was a toe down then. I wonder if we pick the front up. Hey, front up over that little rise. Look at this. Bit damp here. I'm not. Uh, I'm not ridden on these tyres before. They're Pirelli. Funny enough, I think they're called Pirelli Striders. I've not ridden on them before, so I will take it fairly steady. My sort of tyre choice for, um, you know, sort of like two bikes is the best the road to go on SEs. Well, the other ones, and then the SEs, I have done easily. Uh, well, easily 100,000 miles on those tyres. Brake, 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 ABS, oh, lovely. Yeah, I've easily done 100,000 miles on those tyres. Uh, and I know I'm inside out, they're a really good tyre. They're good in the winter, good in the summer. And they, uh, yeah, they don't last fantastically well, but, you know, there's a trade-off with grip, and I'd rather have grip uh, and buy an extra tyre every, you know, three or four tyres, maybe, than, than not have it. So, uh, yeah. What a bloody laugh. So let's have a quick scoot out over the marsh. And uh, have a bit of fun. As I say, there will be more RS content. Um, break shoes arrived. Uh, when did they arrive? Saturday? Well, we today were Tuesday. Day after the bank holiday. So I fitted them uh, yesterday. And. Uh, just needs a bit of a run and needs a bit of a shakedown. I've got a top end gasket set for it as well because I'm doing a head gasket on it. Oh, it's nice and tight. Oh, gas, gas, gas. <laughs> oh, you can feel the back end start to slide. I don't know what the traction control's on. I suppose we'll have a look at that, really. And this is a really bumpy old blade. If it's going to chuck you off, it's going to be down here. But, you know, it's so far so good. The speedo obviously overreads by quite a lot. So if you're watching this and you can see the speedo, it's, it's wrong. Because, um, you know, I'm definitely not doing more than 60 miles an hour. Cheers, mate. But yes, this is an absolute bloody hooligan. Uh, I, I have already been around it, for those of you wondering. Yeah, I bought a new bike. I have been around it with a a set of spanners and allen keys just to uh, check everything's tight uh, just for safety really my own peace of mind um, i tried to put this he's, he's got the standard mirrors that he gave me i'm one of them's got a cracking you know that's that's such a, such a life um, i tried to put them back on but unfortunately the the thread on this side was stripped so luckily i did have a spare clamp kicking around so i put a new clamp on um, but i went for the standard mirrors because that's a right hand thread and the standard Ducati mirror is a left hand thread so that obviously if you bang it in traffic it just knocks it free and it allows it to rotate rather than giving the old bars a, a crack so I can't fit that but these mirrors do the job you know they're mirrors I can see behind me 
um, you know, that's what a mirror's for. They're not particularly stylish, they're big old, they're big old sort of, um, they look more like boobs, don't they? But, um, yeah, they work. I don't want to get past this coach without annoying him too much. Is he going to let me past? I bet he doesn't. And it really is too narrow for me to gas it down the inside. Oh, come on, pal, you could have pulled over then. That's a frustrating part of this road if you get stuck behind a coach. What have we got here? Anything? If you get stuck behind a coach, there's not really a lot of places to get past. And um, he's not going to let me pass, he's going all the way to Dimchurch. Or New Romney, I think. Yeah, probably New Romney. But there is a short straight coming up, I think. get to the village. So will he let me pass on this straight? Oh, not only will he not let me pass, but he actually pulled across that corner then. Oh, fucking twat. He's got loads of room beside him. Ah, uh, no. Oh well, I'll tell you what I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn right up here. That's all the coach had to do, was just slide over a little bit. Oh, it's out on the floor. Bang it down the gears, chuck it through here. <laughs> I feel like putting a leg out. I'm not sure that I put a leg out or a knee out. Oh, this is nice. This is a complete and utter hooligan bike. down these lanes, I mean, I'm, I'm not pushing on too hard, I mean I'm having fun but I'm not pushing on too hard, but I bet you're on fast down here than on a sports bike, and having a bit of fun as well, this is sort of like elbow up time, I feel like the old enduro and motocross days, the front end's really planted, you know you can, you can turn it in on the brakes and it will turn in quite happily, it doesn't want to push the front. Do some of that ABS because that's cutting in quite early there. There is still some free play in it. Yeah, there is still free play. And it's 
still selecting neutral. Yeah, I had to adjust the clutch because he said there was a problem with it and he was right, there was a problem with it. So I gave it a bit of adjustment. You can probably wind that cable in a little bit now. That's warmed up. But he did have new plates in as well. But it's not unusual for, um, for Ducatis to not want to select neutral when you pull up at a hole. It's quite a common thing. Yeah, win-win with a hyperstrada, a hypermotard, so you get all the fun of the hypermotard, but you get the option to carry luggage and do a bit of touring on it, which, um, which is what I want to bike for. But this could be, as I say, this could be the ideal, ideal toy for, you know, those trips to uh, Europe, where you Scooting down the old Alpine passes. When I'm laying closed, I vert traffic. Ivy Church Lane. Oh, oh road ahead closed. Oh, hold on a minute. This is the divert traffic this way. Ah, okay. Well, oh, that says Wenham Lane's closed. Let's see where it goes. I won't blast it. But yeah. So, first impressions. What have I done? I've done... Uh, I can flip my way through the old trip meter. I have done 11.8 miles on this since I left the petrol station. And I'm loving it already absolutely lovely so 11 miles in I think the mulch is going I think for touring I'd put the big seat on because this seat is quite narrow quite not narrow sorry quite thin in the padding to get the height reduction uh, but you do tend to sit in the bike but I did notice that someone's taking the bar risers off there should be risers in there and they're missing someone that sometimes dropped the bars but it doesn't feel bad for it unless I'd seen on previous videos that it had bar risers I would never have known because um, you know, the riding position is, is lovely and comfy it's absolutely spot on I wonder if it would do a stoppy no just the ABS cutting in I'm going to have to uh, sit and play with that, have a bit of an adjustment. ABS cuts in far too early. But then again, it is locking up, so yeah. DTC on four, ABS on two. Who knows? Who knows? Right, anyway, people, I'm going to sign off here and have a, a bit more of a, the gentle blast that I've been having. And um, I might even drag the RS out a bit later. It's a beautiful day. Look at this. What temperature is it? I've got a temperature gauge 18 degrees lovely but yeah Ducati Hyperstrada it is let's just switch it off it is lovely to chuck around I don't know if we've got any yeah a bit of heat in the tyres that's probably why they're sliding because they're not all that front's got a bit warmer probably pushed on a little bit I might put some sticky tyres on it but all in all, yeah, really happy with it as a new purchase. As I say, you do worry about buying stuff um, that you haven't seen. But nine times out of ten, you speak to someone on the phone and you get a good feeling. And Paul gave me that good feeling. So, cheers, mate. I'm very happy with it. Uh, like any like any bike, there's always a few little things you want to do or a few little niggles, niggles that you have a play with. Like this clutch, I would have a play with a clutch. But uh, so far, so good. Yeah. Right, YouTubes. If you're not riding, 
watch crap videos if you're not watching crap videos then um, we'll do something else I guess but either way stay safe if you are riding and uh, I'll catch you on the next episode of, um, of well this isn't RSing about is it? it's not even RSing about this is um, uh, HSing about that doesn't really work does it anyway catch you soon cheers